Hi there, congregation, and welcome back to the Reverend Bob Talk Show. Before the break, I asked you which one of three young bucks actually owned this Suzuki. The answer, of course, you got it all right, was Mark, alias Broomy. <laughs> Tell me some of the history of the car. Well, I bought the car about two years ago, off me gran. Your yeah. granny running a GGI Swift? She did, indeed. Wonderful indeed. Swift lady. Uh, then started importing stuff about a year later. Australia, uh, most of the stuff come from. How much? Ooh, about 10 grand up to now. Four A-levels, a degree yeah. in engineering. I have. Eh? All right, show us how Swift is Swift is Swift is Swift. Eh? Exit, exit, pursued by a swallow. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, another thrilling installment of Match the Hatch from Castlefield Matches. Join us next week. Even more exciting, but even still more exciting, is Reverend Bob on the rolling road. Well, did you get it right, punters? No, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? But then neither is chatting up the Bishop's missus. Well, here we are once again at the rolling road centre, and early on we saw Panda's fantastic Honda NSX pull 290 brake horsepower. John, yeah. you were hoping for 265, weren't you? Yeah. So if you beat 290, you're disqualified anyway, but... Shall we have a go, yeah, see what it gets? Yeah. Do you reckon you're going to get 265? Try me first, can't I? Do you lot reckon he's going to get it? Yeah! Yay! They're confident to the end, that's what we like. Benny, you ready? Fire it up, mate. Step out of the way there, John. Give me some stick, Benny. Come on! Tell you what, viewers, until you've heard a six-inch tailpipe on a boxer engine in one of these garages, you have not heard much. It sounded absolutely fantastic, but was it a fantastic brake horsepower figure? John, what were we hoping for? 265. 265. Anarchy, you've got to stop going on that sunbed, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> 212. 212. Two That's rubbish. What do you reckon to that? <laughs> <laughs> As I say, it's 3 2 3 it's Scooby was running well on the day. He's still top of the tree, but John, right in at the bottom with 212. But don't forget, there are big prizes at stake, folks. That's right, there's a chance for everyone to win. Maybe a set of BBS alloys, H&R suspension kit, a Pioneer Red unit, and even a pair of Ricardo seats. But the biggest prize that they all want to win, the trophy of cheese. So my flowers are sorted, they straight me nuts up. There we go, I think we're about ready for this church fate. But there's one last bit of action left, folks, before we do that fundraiser. That's right, it's time for the Air Street feature with the lovely Kerry. So without further ado, let's unleash the hounds of power. Row, row, row! Hello there, Reverend Bob congregation. Well, the eagle-eyed ones of you out there will recognise this Evo 5 from last week's Rolling Road Shootout. Well, it didn't win on the day, but hey, it wasn't running the nitrous system. But it is now. Well, a standard Evo is a beast at the best of times, but with a nitrous fitted, it's simply a monster. And needs a firm hand, oh yes, and a good right foot to keep it on the straight and narrow. Who is such a man? Well, Neil here. Well, Neil, you're a lucky beggar, aren't you? You get to work on these motors for a living. I do, yeah. Uh, I've got an in-car entertainment business. It's not just this type of vehicle we deal with. We deal with uh, prestige cars, everyday cars. So you're one of these unusual people that actually enjoys getting up in the morning, going uh, to work? I wouldn't say I enjoy getting up, but uh, yeah, works works fun, yeah. How did you get into it? Originally uh, through the alarm side of it, doing car alarms, uh, an interest in the hi-fi, and it built, uh, built from there, really. Well, getting back to this motor, why the Evo in particular? Um, just a car that appeals to me. Originally, it belonged to a friend of mine. He put it up for sale, didn't want to miss out on the opportunity of owning one. Uh, had the Subarus, the uh, Cosworths. And it was the next next step up, really. Because it was a mate, did you barter? Did you get it for a bargain? Bargain price. <laughs> well, this indeed is a lovely motor, and I think it's about time that we got the low down. Come on, Neil. So, Neil, where'd you get your inspiration from? It's a case of trying to do things different. 
we've been doing it long enough now that when you look at something, you know in your own mind whether it's going to be right, whether it's going to look right. Is originality really important in motors like this? It is, yeah. I mean, you're restricted, obviously, with certain cars, but it's always nice to just get something looking that little bit different. Now, are these wheels the original Evo Extreme? They are, yes. Um, we've put them on basically because they were the original uh, Extreme wheels, which obviously enhanced the car uh, and go well with the graphics. So when did you actually get to the install? The install, well, we've probably had about three different installs in this car now. Um, the one that's in at the moment is a fiberglass install, yeah. and that's been in uh, about a month now. Now we saw on the rollers last week that this car pulled 321 horsepower. That's not enough for you, is it, Neil? Nowhere near enough, and that's why we fitted the nitrous oxide system. doing is actually increasing the brake horse to yeah. probably plus 100 uh, brake horse extra which will probably increase the naught to 60 by about a second yeah. um, the way it works is by spraying into the engine the, the nitrous oxide it's what they call a wet system yeah. and uh, it basically sprays in for a few seconds with the car being a four-wheel drive car yeah. the traction's fantastic on it there's, there's nothing realistically that will stick with you from uh, from the traffic light. Yeah. I tend to find that with this particular one with a, with a nitrous, motorbikes aren't, aren't really much of a problem either. Are you gadget mad though? Gadget mad. It's a, it's a case of obviously a lot of the stuff that we've got in here, we demonstrate to customers and stuff like that. So we've probably got a few more gadgets than your everyday car. Now, it looks beautiful, this car. Who are your main admirers? The ladies love it. Um, the young lads, they love it. We get older people as well commenting on it, which really? is a bit surprising, yeah. It's got a real feel This car is nice when we put the nose on. I'm saying I'm enjoying it, but I am holding on tight. I'm not supposed to swear. It was absolutely fantastic. You can see why we call it laughing gas. If you want the full spec on Neil's Evo 5, then drop us an email to the usual web address. Well, that's it from me and Neil for this week, but rest assured, folks, when Tarmac and Tasty Cars come together, I'll be there. See you soon. Oh, tell me what, I've seen some chests in my time, but that is absolutely fantastic. Oh, feel that, it's really firm. And look at the points, rock hard. Can't wait to get me bits and pieces in that. Oh, hello there, viewers. Just uh, admiring the new security chest we got for the church, as you do. Well, that was about that for a modified car show, eh? If we keep this pace up, we're going to be beating Coronation Street for the ratings. Come on! Well, now, I want to take the pace down. It's time for words from the Reverend, where I give you a reading from the good book and reflect on a part of the modified car world. And this week's readings, for all those of you out there who are thinking of buying a new motor, listen up. Although you may be strapped for cash, don't be hasty, don't be rash, don't blow your money on a choking diesel. <coughs> it's power we want, not smoking evil. So what if a cosy drinks fuel like a fish? If you drive a diesel, they'll all take the Michael out of you. That's right, folks, they may be efficient, but you'll never live it down. Get some at Rapid, you know it makes sense. Well, that's it, end of the show. I'll be back next time on the Reverend Bob Talk Show, because I am Reverend Bob. But just until then, remember that the big man upstairs, he loves every one of you. Later. The Reverend Bob Talk Show. One of life's high points.